Um, we're here today to talk about uh, Africa and the opportunities are the fundamentals for Africa are great. So we have to take advantage and bring uh, technology to, to increase productivity and, and improve yields. Africa has some real challenges when it comes to agriculture. Um, there's a lot of goodwill, they have some fantastic natural resources, some land, the climate, um, everything's going for it, but they really lack knowledge and infrastructure, particularly in the agricultural environment, and that's really what the Future Farm Project is all about. This project is already helping some emerging farmers and it's about supporting these guys because these are the future, these are the guys that are going to develop Africa agriculture. Actually for the, for the whole of the agriculture industry this is quite a unique project. Um, not only is it generating knowledge and education about mechanisation but it's looking at the other parts of the farming system. Things like soil science and uh, um, fertilisers and chemicals. I don't know any other part of uh, the industry or the world that's trying to do something like this, particularly collaborating with partners to make it work on behalf of the farmer and ultimately give the, the farmer an easy life. ACCO's vision, um, global vision, is high-tech solutions professional farmers feeding the world. In order to increase the, the, the uptake of the high-tech equipment and even appropriate technology equipment requires training. Training is a key element to increase productivity and yields in Africa. So the first objective is obviously to generate some knowledge and teach people about agriculture. And it's not just to confine to machinery, it's actually looking at the entire process of agriculture. So really we want to focus on the applications of machines as well as the machines themselves and teach people a lot about agronomic issues, particularly soil structure. And soil is obviously one of the natural resources we need to maintain and protect. And as Agco, we have some good machines that we can use to educate farmers over how to manage soil structure, how to protect it and make sure that it lasts way into the future. I've been involved with the project now for about 12 months and I've seen a big uptake in the knowledge, particularly at the farm here. We've already got some of the farm staff teaching and training and making sure that uh, they're passing on the information to their local community. So it's very much Zambia driven in this instance. ACRO is focusing youth in Africa, working with the NGOs that we've identified. We are uh, uh, involving the youth, we are involving uh, and, and communities around our farm. I think it's very important for um, you know our corporations or companies like Alco to work with other partners like 4-H and uh, other people in the non-profit because each non-profit brings its own expertise and experience which you may not have but you also have the experience and expertise that they don't have and if we want to reach the young people we need to work together uh, put together our strength and experiences for the improvement of young people. I came to Zambia to understand and to see the vision that ECHO has for improving the productivity of agriculture in Africa. And I must say that today what I've seen has far exceeded my expectations of what's possible in Africa if you bring expertise and technology together. I'm very excited about exposing some of our young leaders to the opportunities in agriculture and the young leaders that I'm developing, I, I can tell you if I bring them here, uh, many of them are going to want to go into agriculture. So I think that the future is bright and uh, they can see the, a career path, a lifelong career in agriculture. You know, they can be excited to get in the field of agriculture. I'm very, very proud uh, to, to see the success in the short term we achieved and we, we're not going to stop here.